exalt you. We magnify you. You're a great God. You're a mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you, God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We welcome your presence. We welcome your anointing, your grace, your power, your glory in this place, O oh God. We welcome your presence, O oh God. Half your way in our lives. King of glory, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And today I just want to have a short teaching on covenants. And I want us to pray covenant breaking prayers. And um, uh, why do we need to pray covenant breaking prayers? Because a lot of us have lived lawless lives. A lot of us have made decisions in the past, did things in our past that have formed links in our lives. And most of the time, when we get saved, we move forward. We don't remember that we, co we, cost, we made covenants in our past. Amen? There are people that maybe in the past, you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you slept with somebody or you slept with several people. At that time, maybe you were 18, you were 21, you were 30, you were hanging out, you thought life was easy. And then, as you get older, what happens? Maybe at that time, you form covenants. Because you see, the Bible says, whoever you sleep with, you form a covenant with. As you get older, if you do not take time to deal with these things, to deal with these linkages in your life, they tend to come back to haunt your life. Amen. Is the air conditioner on? Because I'm hot. Okay, maybe. Hallelujah. Anyway, so the Bible says in Psalm 74, verse 20. I want you to turn to Psalm 74, verse 20. It says, Have respect for the covenant. Have respect unto the covenant. Let's go, let's go to Psalm 74. Turn your Bible to Psalm 74. Because you see, when God's word says something, it doesn't change. Psalm 74, verse 20. It says, Have respect unto the covenant. For the dark places of the earth are full of the habitation of cruelty. cruelty. Amen. If you read it in the Amplified, it said, have regard for the covenant, the covenant you made with Abraham. For the dark places of the land are full of the habitation of violence. Amen. In other words, God, they're saying here that God is saying that have respect. Say, Lord, remember the covenant you formed because there's so much crazy, there's so much evil, there's so much stuff going on in the land. But remember the covenant. God has respect for covenants. Whether you make the covenants, good covenants or bad covenants, God has respect for covenants. Amen? When you make good covenants, they bring good things. When you make bad covenants, they bring bad things. Amen? So what is a covenant? I would say a covenant is a solemn, mutual agreement of two or more parties with stipulations in the agreement. It's a formal agreement. It's a promise. Most times, they tell you what the agreement is, but most times, you might not really know what the agreement is. How many people have applied for something like a credit card or something, and they give you along this thing, then they go down and they have these fine prints. If you, read, you, you, you look at your credit card bill, they have these fine prints, a lot of tiny, tiny, little, little, little. Most of us never read the fine prints of, the, of, of what we're getting into. Most of us never read it. But if something happens, they're going to go dig up that fine print and you realize that the thing that you signed for is not what you thought you were signing for. Amen? And that is how it is. Most of the time, they will give you one or two. They say, okay, you know, you can take this loan. You can take this thing. You can do that. But they have all these fine prints where they say, oh, this agreement is this. This agreement cannot be canceled. This agreement, if you cancel it, this will happen. You understand? Know and they do not tell you the fine prints. It's right there for you to read it, but nobody reads it. That is the same thing that happens when we go out and we do lawless things that form demonic covenants. Most of the times, it looks good. You sleep with somebody, you think that, oh, you're having fun. But the devil is back there writing fine prints of every little thing that you're doing and putting it down, writing it against you. Against you, your family, your generation. Amen? So most of the time, you don't even realize there are a lot of people that are going about with deposits 
that they are not aware of because of covenants they formed in their past. Covenants are like evil linkages, satanic chips, remote control chips, like, like chips that can be used to connect you to a particular event, a particular sinful event that you did in the past. Covenants are things that connect you to the demonic world. They are ropes that tie you to something in your past, some tie you to a demonic spirit, tie you to a sinful habit, tie you to some agreement that you made knowingly or unknowingly. Covenants become like a landing pad. They become a connection, a likeness, a place where the enemy can land in your life to do his wickedness. They become evil deposits, objects, something of the devils that you have. The word of God says, in John 14, verse 30, the Lord Jesus said this, that the God of this world is coming after him, but he sees nothing in him. The covenants are those things that the enemy sees when he scans your whole life. The covenants are those legal grounds that the devil, those soul ties, the covenants are the legal grounds that the devil sees in your life to use against you. These are evil covenants. Just like a lot of us are partaking to you today, you and I are partaking from salvation, from the covenant God made with Father Abraham. If the covenant God made with Father has lasted long enough for you and I and our generation to partake from it, covenants are serious. Covenants are things that when God puts down, they are not broken. Covenants are linkages, and these linkages will stay there until you address them. If you don't address them, they continue to harass your life. Would the covenant stop you from going to heaven? No. Would the covenant stop you from saying you're a Christian? No. Would the covenant stop you from worshiping God? Not really. But those covenants stops you from moving to your next level in God, stops you sometimes from getting what you deserve because this covenant stays as a landing pad the enemy used to climb on it. Can the covenants make you end up going to hell? Yes. Go for example, if you have a demonic covenant that causes you to go into sexual promiscuity and sexual disease, you can end up falling into sin that can take you to hell. Covenants are reasons why a lot of Christians are struggling because the devil uses covenants to steal, to kill, to destroy. Most times, the enemy will not say anything until you are about to arise. That is when covenants will arise to cause havoc in your life. So we need to deal with covenants. A lot of Christians uh, in Christendom, they don't teach you how to deal with your past. People, they want you get saved and they take you up front. They don't ask you to go back and clean all the evil deposits and the things that you did in your past. And those things are hindering Christians. That's why there are a lot of problems that are being found in the church right now. Hallelujah. So it's something that we have to deal with. If we live a life of holiness, if we live a life of complete purity, from the day of our salvation, all these things will fall off. But we are human. We're not, we don't have the ability to live a life of complete purity. Because we don't have the ability to live a life of complete purity, whenever you open the door by falling into even tiny little sins, it just becomes an open door for the enemy to come in. So that is why you address this thing, you deal with them, you uproot them, cast them out of your life so they don't become landing parts in your life. Amen? I'm going to give you this Mm, Jesus. If you go into the book of Second Samuel to show you how covenants formed, covenants that you did not even know you formed. Covenants can be formed by some other person and then it can come to haunt your life and haunt your generation and haunt your cities, haunt your nation. Even some of the crazy things that are happening to us are happening because of the covenants that our leaders formed knowingly or unknowingly. If you turn to the book of 2 Samuel, it says in 2 Samuel chapter 21, verse 1, it said, There then was a famine in the land in the days of David. Three years. Year after year, and David inquired of the Lord, and he answered, It is for Saul and his bloody house, because he slew the Gibeonites. What was going on in the land? There was famine in the land. Poverty. Dryness. Serious famine in the land. This was David. Listen, if you go, if you read in the previous chapters, David had fought and fought and destroyed his enemies on all sides. Fought giants, fought all kinds of something. 
Then now there's a famine in the land for three years. David is looking at this famine and wondering, why is the land in famine? So he went to the Lord. And is there famine in your life? Is there some kind of affliction in your life? You need to go to God and say, Father, why is this affliction in my life? God might just tell you that you should deal with the Gibeonites. So now, God says, there was a famine. That means there was lack. That means there was affliction. That means there was dryness in the land of Israel. And when they asked God, why was this dryness taking place? Was it something the Israelites did at that time? No. Was it something David did? No. Was it something that was God just being angry with them and just letting them suffer? No. God told them, it is because of King Saul's bloody house, because of the Gibeonites. What was it about the Gibeonites? And this is where we go to forming covenants. Covenants without, even if you form covenants knowingly or unknowingly, they still affect you. Hallelujah. If you read the story of the Gibeonites, the Gibeonites were in the book of Joshua. Go to the book of Joshua chapter 9. And this is going to give us, this particular incident of covenants actually gives us a good provision to cover up, to cover actually all the different areas I want to address for us to pray. Because today is just about us going back into our life and breaking covenants that were formed knowingly or unknowingly. So you go to jo Joshua chapter 9. It said, and it came to pass when the kings were on, where, and it came to pass when all the kings were on the side of Jordan in the hills and the valley, and in the coast and the great sea over Le Lebanon, the Hittites, the Hamorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, and thereof. They gathered themselves together to fight Joshua and Israel with one accord. Verse 3. It said, when the inhabitants of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done to Jericho and A, the inhabitants of, Gibea, of Gibeon, they heard what they had done to Joshua and A. And they said, man, let's go and trick these people. He said, they did work willingly. Cunningly, they went as if they had been ambassadors. They took their old sacks upon their asses, wine bottles, old, rent up and bound up. They took old shoes, cloth upon their feet, old garments upon them, and the bread of their provision was dry and moldy. And they went to Joshua unto the camp at Gilgal, and they said unto them, to the men of Israel, We have come from a far country. Now, therefore, make ye a league with us. And the men of Israel said to the Hivites, the Perizzites that dwell among them, uh, said, make a league, and how shall we make a league? They said to Joshua, we are your servants. He said to Joshua, who are you, and where are you coming from? He said, they are, they are from a far country, and they have come because they've heard the name of God, they've heard how great God is, so they have come to make a covenant with, with Joshua. So the Bible says here, and of course now the they, they showed them, oh, look at our bread, look at our shoes. Our bread is molded from when we started traveling to come to you. If you go to verse, 15, verse, um, verse 14, it says, And the men took of their victuals and asked not counsel at the mouth of the Lord. And Joshua made peace with them, made a league with them to let them live. And the prince of the congregation swore unto them, it came to pass that at the end of three days after they had made the league with them, that they heard that they were neighbors. So what happened? The Gibeonites came to Joshua and lied. Fine print. We're far away. Make a covenant with us that you will not kill us. We've heard about the great thing. We're your servants. Number one, Joshua and the elders of Israel, they looked, they saw with their eyes the flesh. They saw their torn up dresses. They saw their moldy bread and they believed, oh yes, it's true. They must have traveled that far. A lot of us make decisions by just looking in the physical. We never stop to look at it in the spirit. You saw that cute looking guy. You didn't know whether they are coming from a family of wizards and witches. Somebody told you to go do something. You did it without thinking, without asking the Lord. They did not seek the, the God. They did not ask God, Father, is this, should, I get, should we get involved in this relationship? They've not asked God, say, God, is this something we should do? So what happens? They form a covenant. Then they found out that the Gibeonites were right next door. But now they already form a covenant. And they wanted to break the covenant. God says, nope, 
you form a covenant before me, you have to keep it. You cannot fight these people, you cannot kill these people because you form a covenant. It was, this covenant was done before me. Hallelujah. Jesus. The Bible says here that verse 17, verse 16, it came to pass at the end of three days after they had made a league with them that they heard that they were neighbors and they dwelt among them. These were people that they were supposed to kick out of the land of Canaan. He said the children of Israel journeyed and came to their cities on the third day. Now their cities were Gibeon, Shephara, Beroth, and, and Kiriah Jarim. And the children of Israel smote them not because the prince of the congregation had sworn unto them by the Lord God of Israel. And all the congregation murmured against the prince. The pri they had sworn. It was not even the whole congregation that made the prince of the congregation had sworn to this Gibeonites by the name of the Lord. Because they made that covenant by the name of the Lord, there was no way they were going to break it. The prince said, okay, let them leave. But they will be slave slaves. They will be hewers of wood. They will be fetchers of water. I'm telling you. So the Gibeonites lived. In fact, we're not going to discuss, read that, but a few weeks down the line, the, there was a battle. Because in those, if you form a covenant, covenant shows that what is yours is mine, what is mine is yours. So in a few weeks down the line, the Gibeonites had war. And they call on Israel, they call on Joshua. Joshua had to go fight for the Gibeonites because of the covenant that they had made. Joshua went, remember the story about when Joshua fought until he said, God, let the sun stand still over Gibeah? It was these people that Joshua had got to fight for because of a stupid covenant that they made without inquiring of the Lord. So the Gibeonites continued to live. Yes, they were hewers of wood. They were like servants under the children of Israel, but they were not destroyed. Now, in the days of King Saul, King Saul was a king that was prideful. King Saul did not do right by God. He started good, he ended bad. King Saul, in his initial zeal for the Lord, went and killed the Gibeonites. You know what I'm saying? They had to put her foot down. Your little daughter here. Put your foot legs down to it. King Saul went and destroyed the Gibeonites. In his zeal. King Saul did not destroy the Gibeonites. It was because of his zeal for God. So after King Saul went and destroyed the Gibeonites, why did the devil not attack in the days of King Saul? Because King Saul was a fallen king. Why did the devil not attack Israel in the days of King Saul? Because King Saul did not really have that kind of favor with God. Why did the devil not attack when, when uh, David was still fighting? And, because then David had enough battles. The devil did not need all that. But now when David had had rest, David was a man after God's heart. Israel was prospering. That is when the devil, I can imagine the devil sitting and thinking, what do I do to this David? What do I do to this Israel? What do I do? Somebody will come and say, listen, the Gibeonites, the Gibeonites, the Gibeonites. And now there was a famine in Israel. This covenant was formed by who? Joshua. Who broke the covenant? King Saul. Who is now paying the price for that covenant being broken? King David. Do you see how serious covenants are? There are covenants that are harassing your life right now that was formed by your forefathers. There are covenants, there are people that, there are covenants that are harassing some of us right now that were formed by generations past. God has respect for covenants. And if you don't break some of these covenants, you will continue to suffer their consequences. If covenants were formed in your family line, you have a, a, you have a legal, spiritual legal right to break those covenants. Because you can just tell those people that I'm a new creature. Whoever you formed that covenant with, it wasn't me. I'm in Christ Jesus right now. I'm new, right? See, we're new creatures. Because we're new creatures, we don't, the covenants we formed in our past, the ones that our forefathers formed, the ones that our great-grandfathers formed that's harassing our life, we're a new creature. The Bible says that in, in the book of Ezekiel 20, I'm not going to read it, that if the father turns away from their wicked ways or the son turns away from their wicked ways and follows God with all their heart, all their soul, all their mind, they will not pay for the sins of their fathers. But because a lot of us are not following God with all our heart, all our soul, all our minds, these covenants are still harassing us. And a lot of us are going through poverty, famine, struggle, spiritual dryness, just dryness because of covenants that we have not dealt with. 
You're going 10 steps forward, 20 steps backward. Financially, you don't seem to ever rise. Looks like whenever you want to move forward, something is bringing you backwards. So what happens when you have covenants in your life? What can cause, what ways do we bring covenants into our life? Sinful habits, sex, disobedience, discord, going into visit all kinds of powers that you, you know, we can get covenants by eating food, sacrifice to idols, and all kinds of food. People use covenants to give us, people feed you. Visiting native doctors, root workers, healers, consulting familiar spirits, horoscopes, palm reading, dreams, covenants inherited from your forefathers, stargazers, occultic gifts can form covenants. You go, you know, like I always tell people, I said, Africans are getting out of their idolatry. We in, P Americans are Europeans, they are carrying all the African idols and putting it in their house and calling it art. Sometimes you go and buy some artwork and you come and put it in your house and it's a god. You form a covenant with it. Demonic religion, idols in your house, occultic involvement, even peripheral occultic involvement. Juju and demonic festivals, you know, all the Mardi Gras, all the Halloween festivals that we go, we form covenants. Send our children out, they go and, take them, they go and co collect sweets and, and you know, candy from witches and they take it and it forms evil deposit and covenants in their life. And of course, demonic games, you know, people that are playing with tarot cards and people that are playing with uh, Ouija boards, people that are playing with Bloody Mary in the mirror, eight ball, all those demonic games that they have put our children in form covenants. Television programs that we watch and we start following with Sabrina the Teenage Witch and we start following and trying to do some of the spells and things that they are doing, thinking it's a joke. We form covenants. Of course, sleeping with demonic agents. Tattoos. You tattoo a lion upon your body, you form a covenant with a lion. You tattoo a snake. You tattoo you, so, so the devil right now, when our children get rebellious, the first thing he drags them into tattoos. So, and those tattoos are really hard because even after you get saved, yes, you got saved. Yes. Your, your, your soul, your mind is redeemed, but those, those, those tattoos on your body become a constant legal ground for the enemy to use to harass your life. Listening to demonic music, watching demonic movies, wearing demonic outfits and clothes. God in his infinite mercy will show us when there are covenants and things in our life, just like he told the, the children of Israel. Just like he told David, some of us, we have to inquire of the Lord for God to talk to us. That there are still covenants that you haven't broken. Soul ties that you haven't broken. Linkages in your life that you haven't broken. If you're seeing yourself with poverty, famine, disease, all kinds of things, it's time for you to go back to God and say, Father, show me what I need to break to move forward. Show me what I need to destroy to move forward. Hallelujah. God in his infinite mercy will show us. When you have signs of covenants, failure, Going round in circles, business failure, oppression, voices in the spirit world, fear, depression, lack of a desire for God. Sometimes covenants and soul ties in your life will, will make it difficult for you to be able to pray in the Holy Ghost or connect with the Holy Spirit because there are powers that are telling God no. Heaviness in your head, things moving in your body, paralysis, marital failure and delay, unexplained sicknesses, being, being a Thing, being harassed in your dreams with, with uh, sexual demons because you have covenants with people in your past that you don't know. And let me tell you something, saints. Most of the time, these things are hidden. They cause failure. They cause struggles in life. They stay hidden until you pray to a level that they will manifest. Sometimes when you pray, like I said, I have prayed and prayed and God showed me something that I did not know was still hiding there. Amen. So when you pray to some level, these things will manifest in your life, especially when God needs you to go to a higher level in his infinite mercy. He will show you these powers. You see yourself meeting with your family members and eating. You see yourself having dreams with people that you know. But when you wake up in the morning, you can't remember them. You find yourself in a situation where you're not even able to dream, that like your spiritual life is blocked. You find yourself in a place where your life is just a struggle all the time. You're going to cry out, God, I am serving you. I am doing right. Why is my life such a struggle? It's time for us to pray. Hallelujah. We have to pray. Covenants, these covenants have held people down. There are people that wanted to be a star. They wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, something when they were five, when they were nine. But because of covenants, you find yourself wrapped around in circles. 
going through, going through, going through, always struggling. These covenants will make you, sometimes take you to demonic enforcers and you end up hooking up with people, either marrying people or business with people that are going to just mess up your life even more. There was a young woman t telling me on, on, on the, that, Oh, there's some pastor that's a demonic pastor. He said, oh, no, no, he's a man of God. Pastor, I believe, I know. I said, no, no, the reason why you're saying that is because of your foundation. Sometimes the things that are in you will attract you to demonic pastors, marine pastors. You go to evil religions. You'll be attracted to demonic things because of the covenants you've not broken. Hallelujah. It's time for us to pray. We have to pray. We have to pray. Amen. We have to pray that these, these strangers will live our life, that these demonic enforcers will let us go. We've got to take time to pray because, you see, like I said earlier, we are a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all have become new. The word of God said the Lord Jesus blotted out the handwriting. Turn to the book of Colossians. Somebody said there is a way out. There is a way out. I can break free from my past. There is a way out. I don't hear you people. There is a way out. I can break free from my past. Is he sleeping? Wake him up. Papa, I didn't hear your voice. Hallelujah. So there is a way out. I can break free from my past. There is a way out. I can break free from my past. The Bible says in Colossians 2, verse 13, it says, And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, has he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all your trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us, contrary to us, he took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them, openly triumphing over them in it. Hallelujah. So listen, so when these things show up in our life, what are we going to tell them? You're not going to plead guilty. You're going to plead, you're going to plead the blood of Jesus. And said, nope, the blood of Jesus has blotted out the handwriting of ordinance that was against me, that was contrary to me. He took it out of the way. He nailed it to the cross. The Lord Jesus has spoiled principalities and powers. He has made an open show of them. Hallelujah. So you're going to tell these powers that no, you can't steal from me anymore because, amen. And of course, this is going to be a constant battle because they'll keep trying to creep up. Whenever they creep up, remind them of what the Lord Jesus did and beat them. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Galatians 3, verse 13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon Gentiles through Jesus Christ, and we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hallelujah. So we got to get to a point where we say, oh, no, 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 no. You cannot do this. Amen? So you got to get to, you have to pray and say, no, I got to break all these covenants because Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. He was made a curse for me. For curse is everyone that hung it on the tree that the blessing of Abraham had come upon me, a Gentile, and I received the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hallelujah. You got to tell those powers that are trying to accuse you in the spirit that the Lord Jesus has blotted out the handwriting of ordinance that was against me, contrary to me. He took it out of the way. He nailed it to the cross and he has, he, he has <coughs> put principalities and powers and made an open show of them triumphing over it. Triumphing over them in it. Amen. You got to remind these powers that I am a new creature in Christ Jesus. If my forefathers did something and made covenants with you, too bad, devil. I am a new creature. I don't belong to that family line anymore. I belong to the family line of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I know that some of us, we sinned in the past. We had sex with people we didn't know. We formed covenants. We played demonic games. All these things that I've listed, yes, you did it. But the word of God says that in, in the book of Isaiah, to it, for that even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Amen. Shall the pray we take Isaiah 49? Let's go to Isaiah. So that we make sure that we, 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 use, we, we put the legal ground of what we're going to use to fight these battles. Amen? Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah. Thank you, Jesus. Shall the prayer be taken from the mighty? Isaiah 49. 
verse 24. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captives delivered? What is the prey of the mighty? The prey of the mighty are people that are causing problems that they don't know why, they don't know how they started, they don't know why it happened. The lawful captives, the prey of the mighty, they are people that are just praise. Lawful captives are people that know what they did. You messed up, you caused the problem. Hallelujah. Lawful captives know what they did. The prey of the mighty and the prey of the terrible are people that don't know what they are doing. As a lawful captive, you can pray and you can break those covenants. Hallelujah. You can break the covenants because the Bible says God will contend with those that are contending with you and he will save your children. He will feed those that oppress you with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. Hallelujah. Even if you are the prey of the terrible or even you are the lawful captive, God says he will deliver you. Amen. Come and rise up on your feet and just begin to ask, tell the Lord, say, Father, forgive me and my foundation and my forefathers in anything that we've done, anything that we've left undone, in any way, oh God, that we open the door to the enemy. Father, have mercy. Have mercy, oh God. Your mercy is renewed every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me, oh God. Have mercy, Father. Have mercy on me. Any covenant, any soul tie that have been formed in my life, knowingly or unknowingly, have mercy. Have mercy on me, O oh God. Have mercy on me, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And if you're listening to us, you've not made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, I want you to pray. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my life. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. Holy Spirit, come into my heart. Fill me with your presence. Teach me how to follow Jesus. In Jesus' name. See, there are many people that are watching us that are going through drug addiction, going through things because of covenants they form with the devil, and they are now finding it difficult to break from bad habits, pornography, masturbation, all kinds of demonic habits. They are finding it difficult to break from anger and rebellion and just all kinds of things. Amen? But God in his mercy will deliver us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. 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 I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name. And I want you to pray, say, blood of Jesus, walk back into every second of my life. Cleanse me, purge me, deliver me. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Walk back, walk back into every second of my life. Cleanse me and deliver me. Blood of Jesus, walk back. Walk back into every second of my life. Walk back into my foundation. Walk back into my family line. Go deep, go deep, go deep into my family line. Cleanse me, purge me, deliver me in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Walk back, walk back, walk back into my life, into my foundation, into my generation, into every second of my life. Purge me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Say, I reject, I revoke, and I renounce any membership with any occultic organization. I reject, I revoke, I renounce membership with any occultic organization. Listen, saints. There are people that you've entered into occultic organizations, people that were Masons, Rosicrucians, Amok. People have entered into occultic organizations without even knowing. Hallelujah. So just pray. If, you, if you're knowingly been part of any organization, any fraternity, any sorority, and you went and you pledge, it is time for you to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, so I reject, I revoke, I renounce membership 
with any evil association, any evil organization. I reject, I revoke, I renounce any membership with any evil organization. Knowingly or knowingly, I reject it. I revoke them. I reject, I revoke, I renounce membership with any evil organization harassing my life and destiny. I revoke, I renounce, I reject membership with any evil organization in the name of Jesus. I revoke, I renounce, I reject membership with any evil organization in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I withdraw and I cancel my name from any, any evil register in the name of Jesus. I withdraw and I cancel my name from any evil register by the blood of Jesus. I withdraw, I cancel my name from every evil register by the blood of Jesus. I withdraw, I withdraw, I withdraw. I cancel my name, I cancel my name, I cancel my name from any evil register by the blood of Jesus. I withdraw, I withdraw, I withdraw, I cancel. I withdraw, I cancel my name from any evil register by the blood of Jesus. I withdraw, I cancel my name, I cancel my name, I cancel my name from any evil register by the blood of Jesus. I withdraw, I cancel my name, cancel your name. Pray for your children, cancel my children's name. Pray for your spouse, pray for your family. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw and I cast my name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I reject and renounce any evil name given to me in any evil association. There are evil names that have been given to you, pet names that people call you in evil associations. Pray. I reject and renounce any evil name given to me in any evil association. I reject, I reject that name. I reject, I renounce any evil name given to me in any evil association, any evil relationship, any, any, <coughs> any sinful relationship. I reject, I renounce, I reject, I renounce any evil association, any name given to me in any sinful relationship in the name of Jesus. I reject it. I renounce it. I reject, I renounce any sinful relationship, any evil name given to me in any sinful, any evil relationship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I reject any evil work I have done against any person in, that is coming against me in the name of Jesus. I reject any evil work I have done against any person that is, that is accusing me in the spirit in the name of Jesus. I reject any evil I have done against anyone accusing me in the spirit. Reject it. I reject any evil work I have done against anyone. Anything I have done against anybody that is accusing me in the spirit. I reject it right now by the blood of Jesus. I put it under the blood of Jesus. Any evil work that I have done, I put it under the blood of Jesus. I put it under the blood of Jesus. Any evil thing that I've done against anyone that is bringing curses against me, that is bringing things against me, in the name of Jesus, I reject them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. So I ask for God to forgive me for anything I've done to hurt anyone in my past, bringing curses and covenants against me. God, forgive me, O oh Lord. Ask for the forgiveness of God. Father, Lord, forgive me, O oh Lord. Clean me with the blood of Jesus from anything coming from any evil I've done in the past against anyone. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. God forgive me that the blood of Jesus cleanse me. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse me from any evil I've done against anyone in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cleanse me. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I purge myself from all evil foods that I've eaten in, in, the, in any evil association. I purge myself. I purge, I purge myself from every food, evil food that I've eaten in every evil association, every demonic food that I've eaten. I purge myself, I purge myself, I purge myself. I purge myself, body, soul, and spirit. I purge myself from every evil food that I've eaten, from any demonic association. I purge myself, I purge my body, I purge my soul, I purge my spirit. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I bind every demonic spirit operating in my life with hot chains and fetters of God. I cast you, listen, listen to the prayer. I bind any demonic spirit operating in any area of my life with hot chains and fetters of God. I cast you into the deep. I seal you with unquenchable fire. And I command you not to come back into my life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So you're going to bind those spirits with hot chains and fetters of God. Cast them into the deep. Seal them with fire. Command them not to come back into your life. In the name of Jesus. And you can start calling them. I bind every demonic spirit. I bind every familiar spirit operating in my life with hot chains, with fetters of God. I cast you into the deep. I seal with unquenchable fire of God. Command you to stay there until the Lord Jesus comes back. I bind every familiar spirit, every spirit of the dead, 
Every demonic spirit that bind you, I bind you, fetter chains of God. I bind you and I cast you into the pit in the name of Jesus. I bind every familiar spirit, any incubus spirit, any succubus spirit, any witchcraft spirit in the name of Jesus, any serpentine marine spirit operating in my life, any queen of the coast, I bind them. I bind them with hot chains and fetters of God. I cast you into the pit. I cast you into unquenchable fire in the name of Jesus. I bind witchcraft spirit, marine spirit, incubus, succubus spirit. Bind them, bind them, bind them. Bind every demonic spirit. Bind them. Serpentine spirit operating in my life. Bind them with hot chains and fetters of God. Cast them into the pit. Seal them with unquenchable fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I withdraw any part of my body or my blood deposited on an evil altar. There are people that had sex. And these, these marine agents, they collected your body, they collected your sperm, they collected fluid from your body, and they took it to demonic altars. Amen? You're going to pray right now for those things to be returned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I withdraw any part of my body, my blood, deposit on evil altars. For men, pray, withdraw your sperm, withdraw your semen, deposit on evil altars. I withdraw any part of my body, any part of my body deposit on an evil altar. I withdraw, I withdraw, I withdraw. I will draw any part of my body. They pass on an evil altar. I will draw it by fire, by fire. I will draw, I will draw right now. Every part of my body, they pass on an evil altar. I will draw it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I will draw my picture, my image, my inner man from altars. And I cover up that of altars. I will draw my picture, my image, my inner man. From altars, and I cover the evil association in the name of Jesus. I redraw my blood, my altar, my picture, my image, my evil, inner man from any evil altar by the blood of Jesus. I will draw my picture, I will draw my image, I will draw my inner man from any evil altar in the name of Jesus. I will draw my image, my picture, my inner man, wherever they have carried my image, wherever they have carried my picture in the name of Jesus. I withdraw from every evil altar. And I set that altar ablaze in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my body. I withdraw from every evil altar. I withdraw my image from every evil altar. And I set that altar ablaze. I command it to catch fire. In the name of Jesus. I withdraw my body. I withdraw from any evil altar. I command the altar to catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I return anything, I return anything of any evil association that is connected to me in the name of Jesus. I return it in the spirit, knowingly or unknowingly, anything that of, your, of the devil that belongs to me, I return it, I return it. Any evil association, anything of the enemy that belongs to me, return it, I return it. I return it in the name of Jesus. I return it by fire, by fire, by fire. I return everything of the enemy that's in my life. I return it by fire, I return it in the name of Jesus. I return it right now. Anything the enemy has cut on me, anything that the enemy is carrying that is, belongs to me, I return it. I return any of the enemy's property in my life. I return it by fire, by fire, by fire. I return it, I return it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So I confess total separation from all evil associations in the name of Jesus. I confess total separation from all evil associations by the blood of Jesus. Right now, I decree total separation, total separation from all evil associations. Right now, right now, right now, I decree total separation, total separation from all evil associations right now in the name of Jesus. I decree total separation, total separation from all evil associations in my life. Separation right now in the name of Jesus. Total separation from all evil associations in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare total separation right now from all evil association. I declare total separation right now. I decree total separation right now from all evil association. In the name of Jesus, I decree total separation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Spirit, build a wall of fire around me. Completely make it impossible for any evil spirit to visit me. Holy Spirit, build a wall of fire. Build a wall of fire around me. A lot of fire around my children. A lot of fire around my family, around everything concerning me. I go to my father, build a wall of fire. A wall of fire, a wall of protection. Build a wall of fire around me. Around my family, around everything concerning me. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 
So I break all evil covenants and curses, consciously or unconsciously entered into in the name of Jesus. I break all evil covenants and curses in my life. Break, break, break. Evil covenants and curses that are entered into consciously or unconsciously. Break, 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 break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. Any evil covenant, any evil curse that are entered into consciously or unconsciously. Break, 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 break. Break by fire, break by fire, break, break, break by the blood of Jesus. I break any evil covenant, any curse, any evil covenant entered into consciously or unconsciously. Break, 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 break by the fire of God, break by the fire of God, break by fire. Break, break, break by fire, by fire. Every evil covenant entered into consciously or unconsciously. I command it to break, 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 break. Break them, break them, break them, break them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Say any inherited covenant or curses harassing my life, break in the name of Jesus. Any inherited from your father's side, from your mother's side, any inherited covenants and curses harassing my life and destiny, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. In the name of Jesus, come on, break them. Any inherited covenants or curses harassing my life, harassing my destiny, break, 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 break by fire, by fire, by fire. Come on, break them, come on, break them. Any inherited covenants or curses harassing my life and destiny, break, break, break. Any inherited covenants or curses harassing my life, harassing my destiny, break by fire, by fire, by fire. Break them, break them. Every inherited covenant or curses harassing my life and destiny, break, 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 break. Break them by fire, by fire, by fire. Break, break, break. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Say, I bind any evil spirit attached to any evil covenant and I cast them into the pit in the name of Jesus. I bind any spirit attached to any evil covenant in my life. I bind them and I cast them into the pit. Bind those spirits. Now that you've broken the covenant, bind the spirit, bind the spirit, bind them, bind them. Cast them into the pit in the name of Jesus. Now that you've broken the covenant, bind, 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 bind every evil spirit attached to your life, attached to your destiny, bind them. Bind them, bind them, bind them, and cast them into the pit. Bind them and cast them into the pit in the name of Jesus. Bind them and cast them into the pit in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Say, so I resist any attempt to take me back in the name of Jesus. I resist any attempt for the devil to take me back to any covenant, any soul tie. I resist, I resist any attempt for the enemy to take me back in the name of Jesus. I resist any attempt right now. I resist it by the blood of Jesus. I resist it through the fire of the Holy Ghost. I resist any attempt right now for the enemy to take me back. I resist it. I resist it. I resist it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, I renounce. I revoke any oaths. Any oaths that I have taken while entering into evil associations. Listen, all of you that when I'm pledged to Greek fraternities, all of you that went and placed to Masonic things, all of you that went and placed to all kinds of demonic things, knowingly or unknowingly, and this thing are harassing you. Or when your forefathers, there are some of us, are, our fathers were in the Masons, our fathers were Shriners, our forefathers were in all kinds of occultic organizations, some of them were in the Marine, some of them were into witchcraft, all kinds of things. Amen? So you're going to pray right now that you're going to break every oath. Hallelujah. You're going to break every oath and renounce any oath that you entered into, knowingly or unknowingly. Some of the time, your parents took you to these organizations and you did not know. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I renounce, I revoke any oath that I entered into with the enemy, knowingly or unknowingly, in the name of Jesus. I renounce, I revoke any oath that I've entered into with the devil, knowingly or unknowingly. I renounce them, I renounce, I renounce every oath that I've entered into. With the devil, knowingly or unknowingly, I renounce it. 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 I renounce every oath that I've entered into, knowingly or unknowingly. I renounce it. I renounce it. I renounce it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So I break all covenants inherited from my ancestors, on my father's side and my mother's side. I break all covenants. I break all soul ties inherited from my family, on my mother's side or my father's side. I break, 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 break all covenants, all soul ties inherited in my life. Break, break, break all inherited covenants, all inherited soul ties. Break them. Come on, pray, pray, pray. 
I break, I break, I break, I break. All inherited covenants, all inherited soul ties, break, break, break. I break them, I break them, I break them. All inherited covenants and soul ties, break by fire. Break, 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 break. All inherited covenants and soul ties, break by fire, by fire, by fire. Break, break, break. All inherited covenants and soul ties in my life, break. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. Listen, especially for people that have tattoos, that have evil marks and all things on your body, you know, some of the tribal marks. This is a very good prayer for you, amen. So I break and cancel every evil mark, incision, and writing placed upon my body. Hallelujah. I break and I cancel every evil mark, incision, or handwriting placed upon my body in the name of Jesus, and I nullify its effect upon my life in the name of Jesus. I break and I cancel every evil mark and incision or writing placed upon my body, placed upon my spirit, and I command all, oh, I command its effect upon my life. I nullify its effect upon my life, upon my children. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every evil mark placed upon my body. I nullify its effect. I nullify its effect upon my life. I cancel, I cancel every incision, every evil mark, every ink placed upon my body. I nullify its effect upon my body, my soul, and my spirit. I renounce, I cancel every evil mark placed upon my body. I nullify, I nullify its effect. I nullify its effect in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So Lord, break down every evil foundation in my life and rebuild one on Christ the rock. Break down all evil foundations in my life and rebuild a new one on Christ the rock. Come on, pray. Say, Lord Jesus, break down, break down every evil foundation in my life. Rebuild a new one on Christ the rock. My Father, my Father, break down, break down all evil foundations in my life. Rebuild a new one on Christ the rock. My God, oh my Father, break, break, break all evil foundations in my life. All evil foundations in my children. Break them, break them, break them. And rebuild a new one on Christ the rock. Father, break, break, break. Break all evil foundations in my life. Break all evil foundations in my children's life. Rebuild a new one on Christ the rock. Father, break them down. Every evil foundation harassing my life and destiny. Break, break, break them down. Rebuild a new one on Christ the rock. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I command the fire of God to burn to ashes every evil animal, bird, snake, or any other thing attached to my life from evil associations in Jesus' name. I command the fire of God, burn to ashes. Every evil snake, every snake, every bird, every animal attached to my life by evil association. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost, burn to ashes. Burn to ashes, burn to ashes, burn to ashes. Every evil animal, every snake, every animal attached to my life, burn them, burn them. Every serpent, every serpent that's been attached to my life because of evil association. Burn them, burn them to ashes, burn them to ashes. Rokaba Shekera Basata, Father, burn, burn, burn to ashes. Any evil animal associated in my life, burn them, burn them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. So I dismantle every hindrance or obstacle or blockage put in my way of progress in the name of Jesus. I dismantle every hindrance, every obstacle, every blockage put in my way of progress by, by involvement with evil associations. Hallelujah. I dismantle. Every hindrance, every obstacle, every blockage put in my way of progress by evil associations in the name of Jesus. Come on, dismantle them. I dismantle every hindrance, every obstacle, every blockage put in my way of progress by my involvement in evil association. I dismantle, I dismantle, I dismantle, I dismantle every hindrance, every obstacle, every blockage placed in my way of progress. I dismantle it, I dismantle it in the name of Jesus. I dismantle every hindrance, every obstacle, every blockage placed in my way of progress. I dismantle it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. To all doors of blessings and breakthrough that have been shot against me, open by fire in the name of Jesus. All doors of blessings and breakthrough that have been shot against me, I command you to open, 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 open. Open by fire, by fire. All doors of breakthrough that have been shut against me. I command you right now, open, open by fire. Open by fire, by fire, by fire. Every door of blessing, every door of breakthrough that have been shut against me. I command you right now, open. I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Every door that has been shut against me, door for breakthrough, door for prosperity, that has been shut against me, open, open, open by fire. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. We're going to deal with, with inherited curses, amen. So I break and cancel every inherited curse in the name of Jesus. I break, 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 and I cancel every inherited curse. I break, break, break. I break and I cancel in my life all inherited curses in the name of Jesus. All inherited curses, all inherited covenants. Break, 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 break. I break and cancel all inherited curses, all inherited covenants. Break, 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 break. I break and cancel all inherited covenants and curses in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I break and cancel every curse placed upon me by my parents. Listen, there are a lot of us that your parents cursed you out. You probably did something wrong and they said something that was like a curse. And even though it was playful, well, it was still a curse. Amen. So we need to pray. You know, your parents have called you all kinds of names. You need to pray to break those curses. Amen. Hallelujah. So I break and I cancel every curse placed upon me by my parents, playfully or not. Hallelujah. I break and I cancel every curse placed upon me by my parents, playfully or not, in the name of Jesus. I break, 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 and I cancel every curse placed upon my life by my parents, playfully or not. Break, 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 break. I break and I cancel. I break and I cancel. Any curse placed upon me by my parents, playfully or not, in the name of Jesus. I break, I break, I cancel. I break, I cancel. Any curse is placed upon me by my parents, playfully or not. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, saints, listen. When you're praying warfare prayers, don't tie your hands. Amen. Break them, break them, break them, break them. Hallelujah. Curses and covenants are the reasons why a lot of us are suffering in life. Hallelujah. I can always tell people, if you hear a prayer point, if it doesn't make sense to you, pray it anyway. Shoot and ask questions later. You don't, you don't see enough in the spirit to see what is standing to hinder you. You don't see enough in the spirit to see why your life is not moving forward. You don't see enough in the spirit to see why things are hard for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Pray, 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 break it. When you tie your hands, you tie yourself. Amen? So loosen your hands and pray. Amen? Hallelujah. How many of you here, did your parents tell you, look at you, you're doing badly, you will never become anything? You understand? Know Those are playful curses. Sometimes set in anger. But when words are spoken, the devil uses them for his own devices. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray, amen? Amen? So I want you to pray. That I break all curses placed upon me by my parents. Playful or not. Hallelujah. I break, 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 break. Come on, pray. I break all curses placed upon my life by my parents. Playfully or not. Break all curses placed upon my life, placed upon my destiny by my parents. Playfully or not. Break, 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 break. Break by fire, by fire. Break all curses placed upon you by your parents. Break curses that were placed by authority. Break curses that were placed upon your life by authority. Some of us, the teacher said you will not make anything out of your life. People that were in charge, they told you that you will never become anything. Go on, break them. Break all curses placed upon you. By your parents, by your teachers, by whoever was in charge of your life at the time. Break them, break them, break them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So I break every soul tie and every covenant with anybody I slept with in my past. Or anybody I made a covenant with in my past. Amen. I break any covenant, any soul tie with any ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, ex-marriages. Hallelujah. Come on, break them. I break any blood and soul tie covenant. Break, break, break every blood and soul tie covenant with ex-boyfriends and ex-girlfriends in the name of Jesus. Break them. Break, 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 break every blood and soul tie covenant. Break them, break them, break them. Break every blood and soul tie covenant. I break, break, break every blood and soul tie covenant. Any ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, ex-marriages, ex-husbands, in the name of Jesus, every blood and soul type covenant. Break, 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 break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. Every blood and soul type covenant against me, break, break, break. Break by fire, by fire, by fire. Every blood and soul type covenant coming against my life and destiny, break, 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 break. Break, break, break by fire, by fire, by fire. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. And I want you to pray. We're going to go into the next session. We're going to be dealing with incubus and succubus spirits. These are demonic spirits that sleep with people. Mostly because of lawlessness of the past. Sometimes from family line. 
Sometimes because we live in a very polluted world and there's a lot of sexual activity everywhere. Hallelujah. So I want you to pray, man. So I divorce and I renounce any marriage with any evil spirit in the name of Jesus. I divorce and I renounce any marriage with any incubus spirit. I divorce and I renounce. I divorce and I renounce any marriage with any incubus spirit. In the name of Jesus, I divorce them. I renounce them in the name of Jesus. I divorce and I renounce any marriage with any incubus spirit. Any succubus spirit, I divorce you. I renounce. I divorce and I renounce. Any evil spiritual marriage in the name of Jesus in my life, in my children's life, I divorce and I renounce them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I break all covenants entered into an incubus or succubus spirit. Amen. I break all covenants entered into with any sexual spirit in the name of Jesus. I break, break, break all covenants entered into with any incubus spirit, any succubus spirit. Break, break, break. Break the covenants. I break all covenants. I break all soul ties. Enter into any demonic spirits in the name of Jesus. I break, break, break the covenants, break the covenants, break the covenants. I break all covenants, enter into any demonic spirit. Break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire. In Jesus' name we pray, man. So I send the thunder fire of God to burn the marriage certificate in the name of Jesus. I send the thunder fire of God to burn the marriage certificate. Send the thunder fire of God to burn the marriage certificate in the name of Jesus. Thunder fire of God, go into the spirit world. Burn, burn, burn. Burn every spirit certificate in the spirit world. Burn them, burn them. I send the thunder fire of God. Burn, burn, burn. Burn the marriage certificate in the spirit world. I send the thunder fire of God. Burn them. Burn them, burn them, burn them in the name of Jesus. Thunder fire of God. Thunder fire of God. Burn, burn, burn. Burn the marriage certificate. Burn the marriage certificate. Burn the marriage certificate in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I bind any sexual demon harassing my life and destiny, and I cast you into the pit in the name of Jesus. I bind, I bind, I bind any incubus spirit. Bind any spirit, I bind the spirit of man. Bind them, bind them, bind them with hot chains and fetters of God. Cast them into the pit, cast them out of your life. Bind them with chains of fire. Bind them with chains of the Holy Ghost. Bind every incubus spirit. Bind every succubus spirit. Bind them, bind them. Bind that spirit of pornography and cast it out of your life. Bind that masturbation. Bind them, bind them, bind them. Bind every sexual spirit, whether it's pornography, whether it's masturbation, whether it's an incubus, succubus spirit. Bind them and cast them into the pit. <laughs> bind them, bind them. Bind them, bind them and cast them into the pit. Command them to stay there. They will never come back into your life. Bind them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And I want you to begin to hit your stomach. Hallelujah. Hit like your womb area. Say, I drain. I drain myself of every evil material deposited in my body as a result of sex in my dreams. I drain myself, I drain myself by the blood of Jesus of all evil materials deposited in my body as a result of sex in the dream. I drain myself. I drain my body, my soul, my spirit. Drain them, drain them of all evil materials deposited in my body. I drain my body, I drain my body of all evil materials deposited in my body in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray. Drain it by the blood of Jesus. Drain your body of all evil materials deposited in your body as a result of any sexual activity in your dreams in the spirit. Drain your body, drain your body, drain your body. As you begin to pray, some of you that have fibroids, some of you that have endometriosis, some of you that have ovarian cysts or whatever, those are evil deposits of the incubus spirit. Come and play. I drain my body. I drain my soul. I drain my spirit from all evil deposits. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, one of the most popular messages that I ever preached was deliverance from incubus and succubus spirit. It's on YouTube. Hallelujah. People have We've done that program, and people have prayed this prayer, draining themselves. We've seen fibroids disappear. We've seen people with ovarian cysts disappear. We've seen people feel like they are going into labor and they go on their period, and tumors, things that were inside of them disappear. This is not something I've seen people come in here, their stomach swell up. By the time we finish the prayer, they feel like something came out of them and you see it in the physical that their stomach went down and you feel it and the mass is gone. We've seen it several times. People will be giving testimony here and rolling on the floor. Hallelujah. There are a lot of evil deposits, especially in women. 
in men, there are a lot of men that are suffering from impotence. You know, suffering from all kinds of, you know, prostate problems and all kinds of things from these evil deposits. So when you pray this kind of prayer, it drains you from all of these things. I have seen so much. I've seen people come to me like Dr. Stella, I can't get it up. And by the time we finish praying, that stuff is broken off their life, just from these sexual demons. And we live in a world that is so polluted. There's so much stimulation sexually. It's so polluted. So a lot of people, even children, are getting afflicted. Hallelujah. So I want you to pray this prayer again seriously. Just hitting your stomach. Amen. Hallelujah. So I drain myself of all evil materials. They prostrate in my body as a result of sex in the dream. As a result of sex outside marriage. I drain myself, I drain myself of all evil materials by the blood of Jesus. I drain myself of all evil materials deposited in my body. I drain myself, I drain myself right now by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus flow through my body. Drain me of all evil materials deposited in my body as a result of sex in the dream, as a result of sex outside marriage. Drain me, drain me, oh God. Let the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus flow through me right now. Drain me, drain me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. And I want you to lay your hands upon your head. And I want you to pray. Say, oh God, arise. Send the Holy Ghost fire to burn from the top of my head to the soles of my feet and cleanse me from all evil deposits. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, burn, burn, burn. Burn from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Cleanse me, O oh God, from all evil deposits in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Blood of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Flow, flow, flow. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Drain me from all evil materials. Burn, burn, burn. Cleanse me, purge me. Blood of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Blood of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost, flow, flow, flow from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Purge me, purge me, purge me. Purge me from all evil materials. Purge me from all evil materials in my body. The blood of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost, flow through me right now, flow through me right now. Purge, 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 purge my body, purge my soul, purge my spirit from all evil material, from everything that was not in my, that he did not plant. Blood of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost, flow through me, flow through me, purge me, purge me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I want you to pray, say, Lord Jesus, walk back into every second of my life. Repair, repair everything the enemy has destroyed. Lord Jesus, walk back. Walk back into every second of my life. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, repair, repair and restore. Everything the enemy has stolen, everything the enemy has broken in my life. Lord Jesus, walk back, walk back, walk back. Walk back into my foundation, walk back into my life. Walk back, walk back in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, walk back and repair. Walk back and repair. Repair anything that you did not plan. Repair anything that has been destroyed in my life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I take back all my earthly belongings that has been stolen by demonic spirits, that has been stolen by incubus spirits, that has been stolen by sexual demons, that has been stolen by curses, by covenants. I take back, I take back all my earthly belongings. That has been stolen by familiar co covenants and curses. I take back, I take back everything the devil has stolen from me because of family curses in the name of Jesus and covenants. I take back, I take back everything the enemy has stolen from me because of any evil spiritual linkage, any evil spiritual marriage. I take it back. I take it back by fire. I take it back by fire. I take it back by fire. I take back everything the enemy has stolen from my life, from my destiny. I take it back. 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 In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. I cancel every evil mark upon my, on writing upon my life. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. 
I cancel every evil mark, any evil handwriting that has been placed upon me knowingly or unknowingly. I soak myself, my body, my soul, my spirit in the blood of Jesus. I soak my body, I soak my soul, I soak my spirit in the blood of Jesus. I cancel every evil mark, every hex, every jinx, every incantation that has been spoken over my life. Every curse, every hex, I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Say, I reject and I cancel. Every curse, every evil pronouncement, every spell, every jinx, every enchantment, every incantation, every hex placed upon my life by an evil spirit. In the name of Jesus, I cancel, I cancel every hex, every jinx, every evil pronouncement, every incantation, every divination placed upon my life. I cancel, I cancel every evil curse, every pronouncement, every spell. Every hex, every jinx, every incantation that has been placed upon my life, upon my destiny. I cancel it, I cancel it, I cancel it. I cancel every hex, every evil pronouncement placed upon my life, I cancel it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I set myself free from the domineering power and the stronghold and bondage of any evil spirit by the blood of Jesus. I set myself free from the stronghold, from the domineering power, from the bondage of any evil spirit. I set myself free from the stronghold, from the bondage and domineering power of familiar spirit, of incubus spirit, of witchcraft spirit, of foundational spirits in the name of Jesus, of marine powers. I set myself my destiny. I set my children, my family from the domineering power of any incubus, succubus spirit, I set myself, I set my life, my destiny free. I set myself free from the stronghold and the domineering power and bondage of any incubus, succubus spirit in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Say, I paralyze. I paralyze. The remote control power used to destabilize my earthly marriage. For those of you that are still looking for children, say, destabilize my earthly marriage and hinder my childbearing. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, I paralyze any remote control power and work used to destabilize my earthly marriage in the name of Jesus. I paralyze, I paralyze, I paralyze any remote control power used to destabilize to hinder my earthly marriage in the name of Jesus. I paralyze, I paralyze any remote control power and work of the enemy used to destabilize my earthly marriage in the name of Jesus. For those of you that are looking for children, talk about to destabilize your childbearing. I paralyze, I hear, I paralyze, I paralyze. Any remote control power used to destabilize my earthly marriage in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I break every evil covenant with water spirits, with idols, with family line demons, I break, break, break evil covenants with water spirits, with idols, with family line demons, with incubus and succubus spirits, with marine powers. I break and I cast, I break, break, break. I break, I break any evil covenant, every soul tie, every covenant with marine spirits in the name of Jesus. I break covenants and soul ties with water spirits, with marine spirits, with incubus, succubus spirits, with witchcraft powers. Break them, break them, break them. I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know what you're dealing with. You need to begin to call it. In the name of Jesus. I need to begin to call whatever you're dealing with. I break, break, break. Every soul tie. Every covenant. With water spirit. With marine spirit. With, with witchcraft powers in the name of Jesus. Break, break, break. Break, break, break the soul tie. Break the covenant. Break the soul tie, the covenant. With any water spirit. With any incubus and succubus spirit. Break the soul ties. Break the covenants in the name of Jesus with marine powers. Break them, break them. With familiar spirits, break the covenants and soul ties. With spirits of the grave, break, break, break. Break every covenant, every soul tie. With spirits of divination, break them, break them, break them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Effect immediate breakthrough. Effect immediate breakthrough. In every area of my life. Holy Ghost fire. 
effect immediate breakthrough in every area of my life. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Effect immediate breakthrough in every area of my life. Every area of my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Effect immediate breakthrough in every area of my life. Effect, effect immediate breakthrough in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Say, I confess that my deliverance is permanent. It shall remain permanent. Never to be reversed again. In the name of Jesus, I confess, I confess that my deliverance is permanent. It shall remain permanent. Never to be reversed again in the name of Jesus. I confess, I confess that my deliverance is permanent. My deliverance is permanent. It shall remain permanent. Never to be reversed again. In the name of Jesus, I confess, I confess that my deliverance is permanent. It shall remain permanent. Never to be reversed again. I confess right now that my deliverance is permanent. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah. We're going to say, blood of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Flow through me. Fill me afresh. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fill me afresh. Blood of Jesus. Flow through me and cleanse me. Fill me. Blood of Jesus. Flow through me. Cleanse me completely. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fill me afresh. Blood of Jesus. Cleanse me and purge me completely. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fill me afresh in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Flow through me from the top of my head. To the soles of my feet, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, flow through me. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Fire of the Holy Ghost, purge me. Fire of the Holy Ghost, purge me. Blood of Jesus, flow through me. Fire of the Holy Ghost, purge me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, begin to clap for Jesus for everything that he's done. And I gather everything that has broken off us as we pray. I send it one way to the pit. I decree that there will be no regrouping, no regarding, no backlash, no retaliation in the name of Jesus. Any power, any spirit, any personality that wants to come against us because of today's prayer, I command them to collide with the rock of ages. I crush them with the blood of I crush them with the rock of ages in the name of Jesus. Let the angels of the living God slap them and let them become, let them be eaten with worms in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. You should take this prayer on covenant and curses and pray it every day. Pray it every day for six months and see that how things get shattered in your life and how God starts moving you forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give a clap for Jesus.